OpenAI's ChatGPT stores all of your chat data. What's even crazier is that ChatGPT employees are allowed to look at it. Now, do you want to find out how this is even allowed and what alternative private chatbot you can use instead? Well, by the end of this video, you'll learn all about that and more. You'll learn how to install a local and secure AI chatbot on your local machine. Plus, you'll see how you can use an uncensored chatbot one that will even use explicit words. A far cry from ChatGPT's scrub down and politically correct responses. Now imagine this scenario. You're writing an article about the top 10 vacation spots in the United States for an online magazine. To help you write this piece along with your personal travel experiences, you have a bunch of research questions typed out that you need answered. The answer to these questions will help you write a more engaging story. You end up using ChatGPT to help you answer these questions. So you fire up chat.openai.com and paste in your first question. OpenAI's tool then outputs a solid answer. Good boy, AI. In the midst of this and in another browser tab, Gmail logs you out and forces you to log back in. So you head over to your password manager and copy the Gmail password from its dialog box. But then your boss comes over and interrupts you and rambles on about his billionaire buddy's crazy party in the Hamptons over the weekend. You lose track of where you were in your research. You forget you have the Gmail password on your clipboard and you accidentally paste it into ChatGPT and hit enter. Oops, you just sent your Gmail password to OpenAI by accident. They now have that sensitive data on their servers. No big deal though. It's not like OpenAI or one of its employees can see my chat history, right? Wrong. ChatGPT and its employees can see anything that you've typed into its chatbot. The reason being right or wrong is that OpenAI's employees use your data and chat history to make future versions of ChatGPT better. Even the company's privacy policy states this. It says, when you use our services, we collect personal information that is included in the input file uploads or feedback that you provide to our services, meaning Anything you upload or type into Sam Altman's chatbot is fair game for OpenAI. Now, ChatGPT's employees can't legally take your password and log into Gmail just because you made a simple copy and paste mistake. That would be illegal and could put that employee in the slammer. The point is that real human employees at OpenAI can see anything you type into its groundbreaking chatbot, and that should be scary enough. All it takes is one bad actor. So you have to ask yourself this, do you trust a chat GPT employee with your Gmail password or any other sensitive data? Well, that's a question that you'll have to decide for yourself. And even if the answer is yes, you'll still have to be worried about data leaks within OpenAI. It's possible your data could be leaked onto the dark web and get into the hands of bad actors quickly. So what can you do about this to make your data safer? The answer is surprisingly simple. You can use a private chatbot, one that's not hosted in the cloud, but one that's hosted on your local computer. That way, none of your data goes to the cloud and all of your sensitive info stays on your device. Surprisingly, there's a tool to make all of this very easy. It's called Olama. It's a local chatbot that allows you to use various popular large language models privately. You can chat with uncensored chatbots like Mistral or Meta's open source Llama model, just to name a couple. There's many more on their website. Let's see how you can install it in minutes. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to install Olama on a Mac, but if you have a Windows or Linux machine, the steps are very similar. First up, head over to Olama.com. It's O-L-L-A-M-A.com. Once you're there, click on the download button right here. It's going to ask you what operating system you're going to be using. In this case, we're using Mac, so that's already selected. Just click the download for Mac button here. Once that's done downloading, head over over to Finder and go to your Downloads folder and you want to double click on the zip folder right here. It will unzip it for you and just click on this Llama application. Follow the simple install prompts at that point 
and Olama will be installed in seconds. Once Olama is installed, just hit Command plus the space bar to bring up Spotlight and start typing Olama, hit Enter, and Olama will launch. You can tell if it's launched by looking up here and looking for the little Llama icon. Once you see that icon, go ahead and hit Command space bar again, start typing in Terminal, hit Enter, and the terminal will pop open. It looks like this. If you're not a computer nerd, don't worry, this is very easy to follow. Next, you're gonna wanna type in Olama space run space whatever LLM you wanna choose here. You can choose anything here. I chose Dolphin hyphen Mixtral because it's a very uncensored chatbot and it's a lot of fun to play around with. You can choose other ones also like Llama or Mistral itself. There's a ton of different LLMs you can choose from on the Olama website. After you're done, you wanna hit return. Now, I already have Dolphin hyphen Mixtral installed, but if you don't, it's gonna download it. And this is a big one. Some of them are four gigs, maybe up to 25 gigs. This Dolphin one is 25 gigs, but once you have it downloaded on your local computer, you never have to download it again. So that's nice. It's just a one-time thing. The first time you download it is gonna take a while. Once you see these three arrows right here, you can start typing your prompt like you would in ChatGPT. Okay, so I put in roast Elon Musk with swear words, and let's see what it came up with. It's pretty incredible. Elon Musk, you piece of How the did you become such a billionaire. Your ideas are as unoriginal as your face. And it goes on and on. It's pretty incredible. This is something that ChatGPT or Claude.ai would never, ever do in a million years. They're all politically correct and very boring. There's a couple other helpful commands with Olama. You can say Olama list in the terminal, and that will list every single LLM that you have downloaded on your computer. So that's handy. So if you wanna run something else instantly, you can just put in Olama run and then use any one of these listed here. So as you can see, Olama is super easy to install and best of all, it's free. So next time you need to do some research with Olama, you won't have to worry about pasting sensitive information into it. Your boss can distract you all day long with stories about his rich and famous friends. And you can mindlessly nod yes and pretend to love every word he's saying. That's it for tonight. If you wanna step through another AI walkthrough, check out my other vid, AI Music's ChatGPT moment. And if you found this video interesting, please subscribe to this YouTube channel and my free AI email newsletter at fry-ai.com forward slash subscribe. Have a great night. This is Ryan signing out. Take care.